y'all. Thank you for the really sweet response to my first video back of the fall. I really appreciate that. Y'all are just the sweetest bunch. So we had some great requests. Um, Kim M and T, T Hobbs uh, wanted to do some meal planning, some diet, what am I doing, keto, and kind of for me to weigh in on that. So that's what we're gonna do today. So what I'm doing is I'm making my actual lunch. I'm gonna get this in the toaster and then I'll be able to tell you about the rest of the stuff afterwards. So my, when I'm at home, I like the brown rice tortilla from Trader Joe's and then I put about mm, table, tablespoon or so of hummus on top of that. I sprinkle it with either salsa or I happen to have a few little tomatoes left from my garden. Then I take uh, just some raw mushrooms, kind of slice those up. Well, I got them pre-sliced, which is lazy girl. Such a lazy girl. And then following along with the lazy girl theme, I put in some jalapeno. So I just take my kitchen shears and I cut it that way and I cut it long ways. And then I dice it with my kitchen shears. Partly because I wear contacts and I do not want my fingers getting in touch with the jalapeno oils, the capsaicin. Mm, that's a special kind of hurt when you have been chopping, you know, hot peppers and you go to take out your contacts. These are just little green onions, just two of them. Same thing, kitchen shears all over. They brown up really nicely in the toaster oven. It gives it a really great flavor. And that is my lunch. There. I'm gonna give you the calorie count for all this later. When it comes out, I put some chopped up arugula on it and fold it in half and it wilts. I've been doing this lunch y'all for years. Y'all have seen me do it before. Um, okay, so this goes in the toaster oven for like five minutes, something like that, kind of whatever. Boom, done, five minutes. Okay, so let me tell you about the rest of what I'm doing. So here's my day. I start off, you know, 6.30-ish, about 6.30 in the morning. I have my first little cup of coffee. I like instant coffee, and I especially like Maxwell House instant coffee. I don't know why. It has a weird, like, nice creamy flavor to me. Um, I've tried everything else and it's my go-to for coffee. It has a lot less caffeine so if I want to I can have a second cup later because I don't love a ton of caffeine but I like that first little hit is good. And my favorite 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 is Odalie right now. Um, it's definitely the best that I have tasted of all of the oat milk, well I mean of all the milk substitutes like the nut milks and soy milks and all that but Odalie is just so good. It's really creamy. Um, and so I'll have like a quarter cup of that. It's 120 calories for one cup, so 30 calories there. And I've been, because my sister got onto this kick where she was doing collagen, and she said that her hair really grew and her nails grew really strong and her face looked better, so I'm testing it out. I'm using some collagen um, from Trader Joe's. It's pasture-raised, grass-fed collagen. It is not vegetarian, people. These, it is from a cow, so um, that is not a vegetarian thing. Then, so I'll do that like around, like I said, 6.30 or 7. And then around 10, because I do sort of an intermittent fasting thing, I will have one egg and one pasture-raised egg and one piece of gluten-free toast there. And um, I either will just boil it or I'll saute it. Oh my gosh, you gotta see this. I have this cute little pan. Well, actually, I've got two. I'll saute it in this little guy. Isn't that so cute? I got it at the grocery store. They had it at like a stop and shop. Um, so I just spray it with um, some olive oil and I'll cook it in that. Or this is adorable, look. Right? It kind of, it's so funny. It makes a little heart-shaped egg. That's so cute. Um, or I'll boil it, just a boiled egg. Just, but not a lot of extra fat is what I'm saying. So that far, um, let's see. The coffee with the oat milk and the collagen is 75 calories, because this is 45 calories per scoop. I mean, this has some stuff in it. This is not a freebie. Then the egg and toast is 70 calories for the egg and 60 for the toast, so that's good there. Um, and then we've got the tortilla is 130, the hummus is about 70. Oh shoot, you know what I forgot to put on there? Ah, a slice of cheese, cheese product. I know, I'm not perfectly healthy. I'll just tell you that right now. I'm not, but this, mm, fat-free cheese slice. Hang on, 
So a slice of cheese, the tortilla, the hummus, um, all of that so far, between the coffee, which is 50, my breakfast is 170, I'm sorry, my breakfast is 130, and 300 for the lunch, it's around 500 calories. So that takes me to about, because it's, what time is it? It's 3.30, it's a little late for me to be having my lunch, but I wasn't really that hungry. I went to the gym um, today for gym. I did a half hour class that was like a 30 and 30. So it's 30 different exercises done really fast, everything from jumping jacks and like all kinds of squats and then like sit-ups, push-ups, you know, just running around, stuff like that. So 30 exercises in 30 minutes. Um, I go to the Crunch in Norwalk, Connecticut, and it's lovely, they're the loveliest people. Um, came back and I did 30 more minutes on the elliptical just to get a little bit more cardio. So that was my exercise and then I was sort of running around and I didn't really have time to eat until now. And then tonight we'll go out to dinner. So my dinner will be some kind of fish, most likely salmon. If, uh, depending on where we're going, we're either gonna go to Five Napkin Burger or the Afghan place on Third Avenue. Five Napkin Burger does a really good um, grain bowl with salmon on it and it's half price wine on Tuesdays, so <laughs> that's why we like to go there. Um, but yeah, so I'll do one of those two, so it'll be something that'll be a protein and a veg, a protein and a salad. Um, this tortilla that I'm eating today and the bread, ooh, it's ready. That's about the only carbs I'm gonna have today. I've kind of gone off the carbs, even though I'm definitely not a bit ketogenic. I'm not into keto at all, and I'll tell you about that. Now, I'm just sprinkling some arugula on this, and then I fold it over, and it sort of wilts into it. Oh, it's so good, see how pretty? And then I just fold it over, and that is like 300 calories of delicious, see? Yummy, yummy, yummy. Um, anyway, so the ketogenic diet did not work for me. I am much more of a carb burner um, and protein. I need, I need more carbs and more protein than I need fat. Fat does not work for me. It is a no-go. Um, so for me, the key thing is like having protein at every meal. Usually, if I had something left over, like chicken from the night before, turkey chili, I would throw that in here, but I didn't have anything. So usually, I like to add a little, like a little bump of protein, so I put a little bit of extra hummus, which helps bump up the protein a little bit. And I had my egg for breakfast, and then tonight I'll have either chicken or lamb or, I mean, I eat meat, so, but um, if somebody's cooking salmon, I'm eating salmon. So keto, no, doesn't work for me. However, it works great for my husband. He's the kind of person who does not do well on carbohydrates and he does fantastic on higher fat, higher protein meals. He's lost about six pounds, which he didn't really need to lose much, um, but on him it just like instant, like six pack, arms, muscles, grr, like he looks fantastic. Um, and he's my age, he's 52 also. So it's really worked for him, it doesn't work for me at all. So it's very, very um, unique to you and your sort of, you have to look at your heritage and your, your, your gender and your age and your activity level, all those come into play. So you really just have to experiment. So for me, ketogenic diet was just a freaking disaster. I'm not kidding, I weighed 10 pounds more than I do now. It was not a happy thing. So, that is it. I hope Kim and T. Hobbs uh, enjoy that. And thank you all so much again for the nice comments. Keep them coming. And we'll just keep talking about diet and fitness. And, oh, you know what I'll do? I'll put on Instagram tonight what I end up having for dinner. So, you can. my Instagram is at the care and feeding of divas. T-H-E-C-A, like this. The care and feeding of divas. Um, so check that out. I'll put that up. Then I've also put up like my exercise that I did today and the stories. So there's always like little exercise videos and things like that um, in stories and stuff. It's kind of fun. And what else? Oh, we had some really fun requests. We're going to do, do, do more on um, Izzy G wants to see hosting and cocktail parties and appetizers. Um, Elaine S, you want to see about glycolic and retin-A. Uh, Tia M wants my daily makeup routine, so we can do that. We'll do some tutorials. Cutest name ever, Kittles. I like your name. Kittles and Luke T want to see fall fashion. So that's always um, a fun one because fashion in the fall is my favorite because you can do so much more. I'm still in a t-shirt and here it is in the September, but it's like 80 something in Connecticut. Oh, I can't even with this. Um, oh, these are, these are necklaces that I made. They're a mix of real pearls and fake pearls. I'll put something on Instagram about it. Anyway, all right. Y'all stay as glamorous as you can stand to be.